Today, oh my god, so bright. I'm waiting for the sun to move around so I can film my main channel video. Yeah, cause the rough cuts due tomorrow. Um, usually I don't do rough cuts and that sort of thing. It's usually just like, here's the idea, here it is, boom, let's do this, edit, done, get that thing up there. Uh, so this is sort of a different process for me, but it's fine projects could be worse. Working on my thesis at the moment and trying to find a theoretical framework that works for this sort of research that I'm doing, which is historical, which I don't think is that complicated, but apparently it is, or people think it is, and I'm just clueless to this, so I need to like really look into that sort of thing. There's a lot to do uh, in life and in school, and it's sort of hard to balance it all. I also bought a ticket yesterday uh, to Amsterdam during February reading week. Um, so I'm going for 10 days and uh, so I'm flying in and out of Amsterdam but in between that I do plan on making excursions um, particularly to Copenhagen. So I'm probably going to be there for a few days in February which should be interesting because um, all the people that I was really good friends with are back where they were before so I don't really know anybody um, that well there uh, so um, yeah so that should be interesting <laughs> but I really want to go back and stuff I mean February is a tough time there I know I lived through it I'll be more prepared this time uh, your winter here even though it's like technically colder here the, your wind Denmark is just my god. So I'm gonna be seeing a whole lot of people, um, as many people as I can while I'm there. Um, it seems like the only time that I could really go other than like August or something because um, I'm really busy <laughs> uh, with fourth year and I didn't mention I have an internship at a dance company. Um, at a like ballet company that does you know big productions and so that's really really exciting um, but that means I'm gonna be in Toronto in and out um, most of December and usually I leave at the beginning of December so uh, I'm gonna be back and forth between Ottawa and Toronto all of December and then I'm thinking at the beginning of January I'm gonna go to North Carolina to, to do an internship there and then back in Toronto, and then I'm in Europe <laughs> for reading week, and then back here to finish up my undergraduate. And then right after that, I have another production back at home, and uh, then I graduate in June, and then July, and then if I get into one of the universities I've been applying for for masters, I'm probably gonna be in Europe again in August. Um, I plan on going to Edinburgh Fringe Festival because it's like my favorite thing in the whole entire world and I didn't get to go this year. Um, so I really, really, really want to go. <laughs> and so does my family. So um, that's an excuse to go. So I'll probably be there in August. So that's probably the next time I'll be overseas after February. So that's just a lot. There's a lot going on and, and I just can't handle it. Like I'm having a really hard time grasping my life at the moment like it doesn't feel like my own and I don't feel like I'm in control of anything at the moment um which I'm a control freak so it's sort of <sighs> it's a lot to deal with at once <sighs> I feel like I had most of my vlogs like this <laughs> in sort of despair over um the things I've discussed yeah but just preparing for another busy week I'll see you soon. P.S. I put bunting up in my room. I made it at my sister's because I want to make my place look nicer and more festive. Yeah. <laughs>